Hey, future respiratory therapist. It's Friday night. I got a message for you. I want you to hear it, and I want you to hear it clearly. I know that I have an average view time on my videos because YouTube gives me this data of about two and a half to four and a half minutes, depending on the video, okay? Do not turn this video off. If you are a respiratory therapy student, now if you're already a licensed respiratory therapy practitioner, then turn the video off because this is nothing to do with you, okay? I'm talking currently to future respiratory therapists, first semester students, fourth semester students, students in an associate program, students in a bachelor program. I'm talking to you right now, okay? Here's what I want to tell you. There's two things you need to know as you go into finals week. Some of you may be on the verge, like, oh, I have to pass this final to pass the class to continue in the field and me becoming a respiratory therapist. I want to tell you two things, okay? Two things. Number one, if you want to be a respiratory therapist then you can be a respiratory therapist. That's what I want to tell you. This is motivation. This is not this is not education. This is not this is not substantive matter that will help you in your studies. This is me telling you that if you want to be a respiratory therapist, you can be a respiratory therapist. The only people I've ever seen not become respiratory therapists are the people that truly didn't want to be respiratory therapist. So, that's good news. If you want to be a respiratory therapist, then you're willing to study your ass off for this entire weekend to pass the class that you need to pass. Period. That's it. If you're willing to be a respiratory therapist, you're willing to study your ass off to pass this class. Now, how do I know this? I know this because I just gave a test that multiple students were on the verge of not passing. And it was essentially one of the most complicating exams that I could give over one of the most complicated subjects, which is hemodynamics. And I know this because the class average on the test was 90%. Now, how do I know? Why do I, why do I know? Why, do, why am I saying this? It's because the class average on an exam was 90% because the students knew what, were, what was at stake and they studied their asses off to make the grade they needed, which resulted in primarily a lot of A's and a lot of B's, and that made the class average 90%. Now, it doesn't mean you're gonna make a 90 on whatever final you need to pass, but what I'm telling you is that if you want to be a respiratory therapist, then you will study hard enough the material you need to to pass your class. If you don't want to be a respiratory therapist, then fuck it, give up now. Don't even spend the time studying this weekend to, 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 to give yourself some satisfaction that, oh, well, I studied, but I failed, and I'm not good. No. If you don't want to be a respiratory therapist, just just stop now. Don't even don't even study. Don't even bother with trying to act like you want to be a respiratory therapist. Now number 2 here, the second point I have here is on top of wanting to be a respiratory therapist, you understand that you have this desire to help sick people in their most vulnerable states, whether it's ICU care or it's floor care or it's ER care, it doesn't matter. People come to the hospital because they don't feel right and they are sick. And they need people there that will, whatever it may be, give them comfort 
whether it's through a therapy or whether it's through personal interaction, they need people that will make them feel better. So if you want to be a respiratory therapist, you will study your ass off and you will pass those finals and you will be fine. If that's true, then that is driven by this innate desire to help sick people. And that's my point here is that the sick people need you. They need, you have to understand that each and every one of you have a gift inside of you and the gift inside of you is different. It's not the same for every, every person, but the gift inside of you can be manifested through the career of respiratory therapy. And you can make somebody's hospital stay a positive stay or a negative stay depending on that gift. So understand that you want to be a respiratory therapist. You're willing to study your ass off. And you have an insane desire to care for sick people at their most vulnerable states. If those three things are true, then I have no doubt that you will be successful in your finals in the upcoming week. This is all about finals. This is all about all about passing a test you have coming ahead of you in the weeks ahead. That's all it's about. I'm not trying to make something out of nothing. G- trying to give you a little motivation to say, I'm going to go kill these finals I have next week. I have a weekend to get ready for them, and I can spend it partying. I can spend it with my family. I can spend it here. But you know that you should probably spend a little bit of time, or maybe a significant amount of time, Preparing for what's to come on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is finals week's coming up. This is what it is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to have a final. If you have the drive inside of you to be successful, you will be successful. Okay? Now, here's what I'm offering to everybody still watching this video. If you have a question related to a final that you have coming up. I'm not talking about questions that are related to specifically the Puritan Bennett 960 or the 840 or the Servo I or I saw this in clinic or I saw this or I, whatever. I'm not talking to, to, to licensed respiratory therapists right now. I'm talking to students. If you have a question about a final subject, a subject that is going to be on your final exam and you want clarification on it and you think I might be able to simplify it for you, send me a question. Send me, Put a comment below and I'm going to answer it and I'm going to dedicate Saturday morning and Sunday morning to answering questions about finals week coming up. Now what I need you to do is tell me I'm a first semester student This is my concern. I'm a fourth semester student. This is my concern. I'm a bachelor's student in my fourth or sixth semester. This is my concern. Whatever it might be, I have a final coming up. This is what I'm not clear on. I'm going to spend Saturday morning and Sunday morning answering those questions. I'm here for you guys. I want you to be successful because if you pass the litmus test of I want to be a respiratory therapist, I'm willing to study hard enough to be a respiratory therapist, and I have this insane desire to help people in their most vulnerable moments, then I'm here to help you. Because my desire, my desire is to teach respiratory therapy students. To give you the knowledge you need to be successful. And to support people who have this insane ability to connect with people. And to help people feel better in their most vulnerable moments. That's my desire. 
That's my goals. And that's what I'm doing this entire weekend. Okay? Send me your messages. Put your comments below. Don't, don't be afraid to ask a question. Oh, I'm going to ask a question. I got asked a question just the other day and then it got deleted. I can't answer a question that I can't go back to. Somebody asked the question and then deleted it. Now, you need to understand on my side of things, the administrator of this channel, you have to understand that I get your question in my notifications. But if you then delete the question, I can't go back and answer it because I don't know where it was asked. Why would somebody ask a question and delete it? Because they thought the question was stupid. They didn't feel confident in the question. They felt like other people that might see the question might judge the question. Let me tell you something, guys. Judgment is only relevant if you see or hear the judgment and allow it to affect you. If the judgment happens, which it will, you can't avoid it. I'm being judged as I speak. But I don't care because the people that are judging me are not going to put comments stating that they're judging me. And if they do, I'm going to respond to them with empathy and with kindness and say, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching 12 minutes of this video. So judgment only matters if you allow it to happen. Ask every freaking question you have to ask. Question everything you have to question. And let the people that want to judge you about those questions, let them deal with their own insecurities. But fuck it. It doesn't matter to you and to your knowledge and to your progression and to your growth as being what you want to be, which if you're watching this channel is probably a respiratory therapist. So the haters can say whatever they want to say. They're not going to say it to your face. Therefore, you never know it exists. Therefore, it doesn't exist. That's how you deal with judgment in fear of asking questions. Saturday morning, Sunday morning, here for your questions, preparing you for finals, breaking down simple complex, oxygen therapy, hemodynamics, hyperinflation therapy, mucus clearance, mucus clearance, pulmonary function testing, whatever it is, first semester, first semester students, fourth semester students, sixth semester students, ask them. Let everybody else deal with their own problems, okay? Ask me your questions. I'm here to answer them all weekend to get you ready for finals so you can move forward in achieving your goals as being a respiratory therapist, going out there and helping sick people get better. Best wishes.